welcome YouTubers. I realize we all like a little bit of yan in our life. We all like to push and test ourselves. So as the title says, this is my short power yoga sequence. Um, it's to combat all of the body, hopefully leave you feeling strong, powerful, a little bit sweaty, and a lot of endorphins kicking in. So please let me know if you enjoy it. There will be different variations on the screen because I know a lot of it is quite hard. So pick whichever variations, modify as much as you want. I still want this to be accessible to a lot of people. So I hope you enjoy. So we're going to start off nice and easy, just kneeling down onto our knees. If this is too much for you, feel free to take a block underneath the sit bones or come into any comfortable sit position. So as always, just grounding ourselves before the practice. So closing the eyes down and settling into the posture. Bring in the heart on top of the pelvis, crown of the head on top of the heart. And notice if there's any kind of buzz or tension within the nerves. And if there is, just take a long inhale and gently sigh it out. Becoming present in the body becoming present in the breath. Now bring in a little bit more awareness to that breath. As you breathe in, push the belly out, feel the pull of life into the lungs. As you exhale, completely down into the root. Three more like this. Breathing in, push the belly out, Feel the lungs up. And exhale completely down into empty. Your last and final breath. And completely sighing it out. Resuming that natural, normal breath. And then bringing the hands to the heart center. Set in your intention for today. It can be a mood, a word, a mantra. Or maybe dedicate this strength to someone you know who needs it. Take an inhale to seal it into the heart. And exhale, let it out into the world. And namaste, guys. Welcome to your practice. So nice and easy, you're going to take the arms all the way up, breathe it in. Interlace the fingers at the top and just push that sky away. Take an inhale, finding the length in the spine. As you exhale, push the fingers forward, rounding through the upper back. Two more, breathe in, lifting, lengthening. Breathe out to push and round into that back of the heart space. One more. Breathe it in, lift it all the way up. Breathe out, round in, push the palms away, hold it for a second, find that nice big stretch. Then inhale, send the arms apart. To exhale, slowly lean towards the left hand side just far enough that you feel that stretch in the right hand side. And then inhale, bring it back to center. Exhale, take it over to the right. And then breathe in, bring the arms up. Breathe out, send the hands to the side. So we're gonna be doing a lot in our wrists. So make a fist with the hands and then flick the fingertips out. Make a fist and flick, fist and flick. Keep doing it, take it a little bit faster. Warming up through the wrists. And then bring the hands above, keep stretching as much as you can till you feel that burn in the forearms. And then slowly let it go. Give yourself a tiny bit of a shake. Coming onto all fours for me. So hands come down. This time, just bring the palms to face each other. And then give me 
three big circles clockwise. So bring in the weight into all four corners of the palms. And notice if there's any places where you feel that might need a little bit more love. And feel free to hold it there. Once you've done three one way, take it to the other side. Keep rolling around on those wrists. And then slowly come back to center. Turn the fingers into face you. Good. So sit down towards the heels. For some of us, you may not get very far, and that's completely fine. If you want a little bit extra, round through the upper back. Keep pushing the floor away. Hold in for five, for four, for three, for two, and one. Slowly peel the hands back. Interlace the fingers. Give the wrists a nice bit of a shake. Good. OK, so now coming back onto all fours, we're going to warm up those shoulder joints with some scapular push-ups. So what I want you to do is think about we're not cat cowing, so you're doing no dipping in the lower back. You want to keep the core tight and working only in the uh, shoulders. So when you're ready, just bring the chest towards the ground. Think about squeezing something in between those uh, shoulder blades. And as you exhale, push and round the upper back, really protract back of the heart to the ceiling. Lower it down, squeeze in. Push away from the floor and protract. Two more, lower it down to squeeze. Push it all the way back up. Last one, squeezing it together. Slowly push it back up. So if that was enough, stay there. If you want more, extend the legs. Give me five more, but into a plank, so it's going to be more intense. Drop that chest, squeeze in between the shoulders. Push the floor away. Lower it down. Squeeze and push the floor away. Three more. Keep squeezing on the way down. Keep pushing on the way up. Two more. Lower it down. Push away and squeeze. Last one. Squeeze all you got. Push it up. Nice. Now, everyone, if you're not already on your knees, come back down. Give the shoulders a bit of a shake if you need to. Now, grounding down through the palms. Tuck the toes for me. Again, belly button into the spine, so keep this nice and tight. Round the upper back, push the floor away, and lift the knees to a hover. My knees are around five centimeters off the floor only. Keep that activation, keep sending the floor away. Breathe in. Hold in for five, for four, for three, for two, and one straight in the legs. Sink the chest back, downward dog, you're welcome. So first downward dog, as always in every single video and class I do, take your time to get acquainted. So maybe pedaling out your knees, maybe giving your shoulders a bit of a stroke, maybe stretching all the way back past that downward dog. I know we've done probably hundreds and thousands of these for our time, but just ask yourself, how does this one feel? How can you negotiate in the body to make this one a little bit more comfortable? Nice. Take a few big deep breaths. And then slowly, on your next inhale, come high onto the toes and ripple that spine forward. Come into your plank pose. As you exhale, bend the knees to a hover just like before. Sink the hips back. I'm going to call this active child's pose. And then straighten the legs. Two more. Breathe in. Ripple the spine forward. Keep rolling. Breathe out. Bend the knees. Active child's pose. And send the hips up high. Last one. Inhale to roll. Ripple. Exhale. Bend those knees. Sink it back. Downward facing dog. Good. So now bend the knees once more. Come into that active child's pose, like we said. Now, if this, this is too much, there'll be a video on screen giving you a different variation of what we're about to do. So, bending the knees. Look forward for me. 
as you come forward, bend the elbows, find your chaturanga, squeeze the bum. Exhale, send it back, active child's pose. Three more, breathe in, bring it forward. Breathe out, send it back. Twice more. Coming forward, keeping it low, keep the butt low. Exhale, back. One more time, breathe in, come forward, find that chaturanga, a hold for three, for two, and one, drop the hips, lift the heart, upward dog or cobra, take a breath, <sighs> exhale, downward facing dog, good, just a little taster of what's to come, as always, modify with your body as much as you want. On your next inhale, look forward, step or jump to the front. Breathe in, halfway lift, breathe out, let it go. One more like that. Inhale, halfway lift, push the tailbone back. Exhale, slowly fold. Softening through the knees now. Just interlace the arms at opposite elbows and just hang out here. Letting gravity do the work with the upper body. Releasing all through the back line of the body. And on your next breath in, soften through the knees, ground down through the feet, starting to rise all the way up. Take an inhale, lift the arm. Exhale, hands towards your heart. Close your eyes and find that Tadasana pose. Just notice the sensation of being upright for the first time. Maybe the blood rushing to the fingertips. Maybe the beat of the heart already. And starting one round of sun salutations from this spot. Grounding down through the feet. Roll the shoulder blades back. Take a breath in, lift the arms up. As you breathe out, fold from the waist, hands find the floor. Take an inhale, halfway lift. As you exhale, plant the hands, step back to your plank. Hold it here, pushing the floor away, rounding through the upper back. Now you can either drop onto your knees or stay where you are. But we're lowering down nice and slow for a count of five, four, Three, don't scrunch up in the shoulders for two, and one. Inhale, upward facing or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a big breath into the belly. Exhale, let it out. Nice. Making sure there's equal weight between the fingertips and the toes. And then notice my ribs. Tuck them in, create more space. A little bit of engagement to the core. One more big deep breath. And on your next inhale, look forward. Hop, step, jump to the front. Breathe in, halfway lift. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, root to rise, send the arms up high. Exhale, hands to heart. Let the fun begin. So make sure the feet hit with distance. If you like your chair pose with your toes to touch, be my guest. When you're ready, ground down through the feet, lift the arms, sink the hips back down low. Tuck the tailbone slightly and gaze down to your toes. Your knees shouldn't be passing. If you have any tension in the neck, think of bringing the pinky edges of the fingers together. Hold in here. Breathe in for five. For four. For three. See if you can lift all ten toes. For two. And one. Exhale. Forward fold. Drop it down. Breathe in for that halfway lift. Breathe out. Plant the hands. Step it back to your plank. Lower it down. Chaturanga. Push it back up. Plank. I know loads of you took a vinyasa, then it's totally fine. Lower it down, chaturanga. 
push back up plank. One more, chaturanga, hold for two and one. Breathe in, lift the heart, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, downward facing dog, beautiful. Big, deep belly breaths. Lift that right leg up high. So flex the toes, point the toes towards the ground. Now send that right heel back, notice the stretch, maybe in the outer left hip, maybe in that left hamstring. Feel it for a second. Take an inhale. And as you exhale, bring the right knee in towards your nose. Don't let your hips hike up. Stay in plank. Take an inhale. As you exhale, lower the knee to a hover. Don't let it touch the floor. Breathe in, lift it back up, squeeze the core. Breathe out to hover. Last one. Inhale, lift. Exhale, hover. Then breathe in, knee to nose. Step the foot in between the hands. Good. Feet hip width distance apart. Find your foundation. And rise up, high lunge. Good. So keep that kind of buoyancy. Try not to lock it out. Right hip back, left hip forward. Take a breath in. As you breathe out, bend the left knee, cactus the arms. As you inhale, straighten the back leg, take the arms forward, and slowly bring it up. Good. Bend in the knee, cactus the arms. Breathe in, legs straight, and arms go forward and up. Two more. Bend the knee and cactus. Arms go forward, charge the legs all the way up. Last one. Bend the knee, cactus, hold it there. Find that nice big stretch. Keep pushing down through that right heel. On your next breath in, lean forward, charge that right leg. Keep leaning forward with the arms. See if you can float the left leg. Notice my right knee still bends. Hands can come to the heart. Take an inhale. As you exhale, left knee behind the right shiver. Breathe in, warrior three. Whoop, the wobbles. <laughs> Breathe out to shiver. Two more. Inhale, lift, kick the heel back. Exhale, shiver that squat. Last one. Kick it all the way back. Drop that left hip. Shiver it down. Hold for five. Push the right heel down. Lift the chest for three. For two. And one. Slowly extend the left leg. Left foot steps back, hands go down. Right foot steps back, three-legged or four-legged plank. Lower it down, chaturanga. Inhale, lift the heart up. Exhale, downward dog or child's pose if you need it. I'm definitely going to take a few extra breaths. Come back to your intention you started with. And even though you can feel that heart beating, maybe feel the rush of the breath. Notice behind all of that, there is still a stillness. Recognizing. Connect to that place. Taking another big inhale. And exhale. Left hand side, left leg, raise it up. Flex the toes, push that heel towards the back of the space. Grounding through the right heel, just honor that stretch in the leg. Feel it, take a breath in. Breathe out, knee to nose. Round the upper back, take an inhale. Exhale, lower the knee to hover. Breathe in, bring the knee in. Breathe out to hover. Inhale, lift. One more time. Hover that knee. Bring the knee in towards the nose, round the upper back, then step the foot in between the hands. Take an inhale, look forward, find your breath. Ground down through both big toes. Rise, high lunge. So again, keep that buoyancy. Solid through the foundations. Take a breath in. 
As you breathe out, bend the back knee, cactus the arms. As you inhale, swing the arms forward and all the way up, good. Two more, lower it down, bend the back knee. Inhale, forward and up. Last one, bend that back knee, sink it low. Forward, charge that left leg and lift it up, high lunge. Cactus in, bending that back knee, holding it here. Squeeze the right glute, you're gonna get an extra stretch. Hold for two, and one, swing the arms forward, charge that left leg. Keep sending the floor away with the feet, slowly float that right leg. Try and bring the hips parallel to the floor. Take an inhale. Exhale, bend the right knee behind the left, shiver. Inhale, kick it up and lengthen. Exhale, shiver. Breathe in, lift up, lengthen, warrior three. Breathe out, shiver, hold it. Breathe, lift the chest for three. Oh my God, my legs cramp in for two. And one, slowly place those hands down. Step the right foot back. Ooh. Left foot goes back, meets the right, or maybe three-legged. Lower it down, chaturanga. Inhale, lift the heart up, roll the shoulders. Exhale, bend the knees, sink it back. Child's pose, take a break. And taking a few nice deep breaths. Trying to return to that breath you started with. Once again, calming down the mind. Taking one more big deep inhale. And exhale. And then slowly beginning to rise, coming into your downward facing dog. Lifting the hips, taking it back nice and slow. So this time I want you to bring your feet together at the back of the mat. Take an inhale, ripple that spine forward, come into your plank just like before. Good. Pushing the floor away. And then we're coming into some Vashastasana side plank variation. So stay high on the toes. Drop the heels towards the left-hand side first. Now notice wrist, shoulder, all aligned. If you want an easier option, drop the left knee to the ground and lift the heart. If not, you're staying with the feet stacked. So holding it here. If you want to go a little bit harder, that left knee comes into the left elbow. Make contact. Breathe. Hold for five, for four, for three, for two, and one. If you have the strength and the knee up, right hand goes down. Take that left leg all the way back, the laziest wild thing you've ever felt. Just get that release in the hips and in the shoulders. Nice. Take a breath. And then slowly flip it over into your plank. Drop down onto the knees for a second if you need to. And if not, holding it here while we go onto that right hand side. So dropping the heels to the right. Keeping those hips lifted, lift the left arm. Stacking the joints upon each other. Either holding here or right knee on the floor for ease. Right knee to the armpit for a little bit more challenge. Pointing the toes, squeezing through the obliques. Hold in for three, for two, and one left hand goes down. Maybe that right foot steps over the body. Lift that right hand, just find a relief. Breathing into that expansion. Hold for two, and one, slowly drop it over. Lower it down, nice and slow, chaturanga. Breathe in, lift the heart up. Downward duck. Nearly there, guys. Just a little bit more core, and we are done. That being said, look in between the hands. Big hop, step, 
for a jump to the front. Inhale for that halfway lift. Exhale, let it go. Breathe in, slowly rise, send the arms all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart. So good news, when we reach the floor after this one, we're staying on the floor. So give it all you've got for the next five or 10 minutes. Come to the front of the mat, ground down through the toes. For this chair pose, I'd recommend you keep your toes together. When you're ready, find your Tadasana. Give the pose the attention it deserves. Grounding down through the feet. Lift the arms up. Sink the hips down low. Try and bring those thighs parallel to the ground. Keep lifting through the heart. And slowly bring the hands towards the heart. Taking a twist towards the right first. So make the twist and then make contact. Left elbow outside of that knee. Notice the left knee will want to kind of sneak out, pull it back in. Push the palms into the heart, twist in. Either stay in here or breathe in, open the arms up wide. Breathe out, hands together. Keep the hips low. Inhale to lift. Exhale, bring them back in. One more, spread in the wings, the heart wide. Bring the hands back to the heart. Inhale to center. Second side, twist towards the left first. Make the twist, then make contact. Check in those knees. Weight is still in the heels, find that twist. Stay in here or open the wings on the inhale. Exhale, bring them together. Two more, inhale in. Exhale. Last one, I promise, lifting and opening. Bring the palms back together, hands to the heart. I know, arms go high. Woo, come high onto the toes. Slowly lower it down for five, for four. Keep the heels lifted for three, for two, two and a half, and one. Drop it down towards your bum. Give your legs a little bit of a shake. Good, so bum on the floor. I would say heart part over. One last little bit. Hands underneath the knees, rock back. Lift the feet up. Option one, stay here. Option two, arms out in front of you. Squeezing the core. Finding that Navasana. Try and straighten through the back. If you want a little bit more, straighten the legs. If you want more, arms above you. Notice I'm not sinking here. Lift it up. Breathe. For 10, nine, Eight, seven, six. Think of pulling the thighs in towards the belly for four, for three, for two, and one. Relax for a second. Taking a breath. Good. A little bit more. Coming back to that Navasana. Roll back onto the sit bones, lift the legs. Hands can stay out in front of you. Take a breath in. As you breathe out, lower back on the ground, low boat. Good. This time as you inhale, the right leg is going to come into your chest. Left leg stays where it is. Breathe in, lift it up. Breathe out to lower. You can bend the knees, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Lift it up. Lower. For five. Lower. For four, you want more, arms up. For three, <laughs> lower. For two, and one, hold it, send the arms forward, five, four, three, belly to thigh, two, one, swap it, five, four, three, two, and one, relax, take a breath, I want to say that's the end, but we've got one more, and that is it. I'm like the queen of core, I love it so much. <laughs> so now, one last Navasana with a twist, like an actual literal twist. So, hands behind the knees, rock it back. <sighs> hands to heart. Make a twist towards the right. Make contact, left elbow, right thigh, lean it back, lift the toes. Option one, stay here. Option two, lift the legs. <sighs> Breathe. 
hold in for five. Matt's looking at me like, what the hell, for four, for three, for two, and one, bend the knees back to center. Let's just get it over and done with. Twist the opposite side. Make that contact. Either feet out in front of you or lift them up. For five, for four, for three, for two, and one. Let it go. Ooh, good. Congratulations. All done. Just nice little stretches to end with. So to get into these arms, I want you to bring the hands behind you. Fingers pointing back. Ground down through the feet. And lift the hips all the way up. Sink the hips down towards the heels. Be careful, know your limits. Keep the gaze forward. Maybe the lower back comes on the ground. Maybe it doesn't and it's completely fine. Breathing into the opening of the shoulders. If you want to go a little bit further, you can straighten the legs. So notice with every exhale, can you just soften into this space? If already your body is screaming for you to get out, you've gone way too far. You don't need to force this path. Let the body just open up gradually. A few more big deep breaths. Taking another big inhale and exhale. Good. Walk the feet in if you have them extended. Coming out exactly the way that we came in. Push through the heels, lift the hips up. Ink it back, good. Give your neck a little bit of a roll. I don't know whether you've got that crack on microphone. <laughs> but yes, the joints. Now, slowly, without control, I'm not gonna punish you. Come to lie down onto your backs. Oh, how good does that feel? So, one final twist. Bring the knees actually as wide as the mat for me. So the feet are down on the ground. Drop the knees towards the right first. So let them just windscreen wiper their way out. If this already feels a lot, stay here. And maybe bring in this right foot, flex the toes on top of that left thigh. Good, so you should feel a nice opening in that right hip. If you want a little bit extra, you can squeeze the glutes. Push the hip flexors up a tiny bit. You should feel it in the left thigh as well. I'm just taking the time to slow it all down. Trying to elongate our exhalations. And notice if you're still forcing that knee down. Just relax. Again, the body responds better when it's told to soften and ease into things rather than the force. Take in another inhale and exhale. Now slowly take the right foot off of that knee. Bring the knees back up towards the ceiling, plant the feet, and take it over towards the left. Dropping the knees to the left hand side. Either staying here, focusing on the breath. We'll flex the left toes, bring it on top of that right knee, and sink it down. Now it's up to you, you can squeeze the glutes and the hip flexors high and find that little bit extra stretch, or just let it go. Already starting to surrender everything down. in two more big deep inhales and exhales and then slowly bringing everything back to center bringing the knees in towards your chest 
and just rock from side to side. So before we take Shavasana, if you have time and feel like you want to stretch out the shoulders a little bit more, take a look around my YouTube. There is shoulder stretch in there as well. But if you are also ready to just relax everything down, completely coming down into that final shibasa. So bring in the legs wide. If you want a little bit extra in the hips, bring in the feet in Baddha Bring the hands out to the side. Just make sure the palms are resting on. Opening the lines of the heart. And slowly closing the eyes and scan the body. Find those spots of tensions that don't need to be there. Can you relax your shoulders, your eyebrows, your jaw? Let the back of the heart get heavy. Feel the weight of the body on the floor. And in turn, that floor just cradling you. With every exhale, softening down a tiny bit more. And take as long as you want in the Shavasana. Completely surrender.